ladies and gentlemen here is a first look of the new 2022 tesla model 3 performance this is the made in china car so i'm gonna come and inspect what's new so uh we have the uh, red color that's the most expensive option we have the performance wheels and you can see here that this is the uh, made in china VIN number you can also see the additional nozzle here uh, the nozzle was here from the start but now they've added if I go to the other side here you can see they've added double nozzles on the wipers and I don't think I can cover this angle but there's also double nozzle on that end uh, the wrist there's not a lot of changes there are a long turn signals now on the rear and this c shape is the stoplight in europe it's not anymore in the middle you can see underline for the performance now to check the interior this is the white interior it holds up pretty good saw some people who own the white interior you can see that there's a blank here they removed the lumbar support on that end and you can see the white piece inside you can also get a wood i have on my model 3 wood this is white so over here you can see this little maybe scratches there and double glazing windows still on the front and on the rear there's still single glazing there should be double glazing like that model y is giga berlin so it has double glazing so some music's playing automatically inside so we're in lyon in france so this is their spec uh, tesla has bumped up the prices so the base model is now way more expensive than i paid for i've paid 45 500 for the long range so yeah if you were thinking about buying a tesla you should have done it before the prices went up and coming to the front this is in black all standard Speed that music and alcantara here this is plastic so i was kind of disappointed uh, in the model y this is leather and it used to be leather in the model 3 but they've changed that now you can see that this seat is already having some sort of markings car show is kind of closing so i think they're announcing the closing and just to show you the white interior if i zoom out you can see kind of opens the space but uh, you have to clean it regularly and let's zoom back in so over here you can see from the inside they've added a black cloth that's a change i believe it was a white cloth but i guess this is a lot easier the rest is pretty much the same I have wireless chargers here this is the same yeah this is the, how the seats look this really opens the interior but I'm still glad I got the black seats in mine. I mean, this is okay, but it just at night it looks kind of different. There's a lot of light inside reflecting from the seats. So I think it's just a matter of uh, getting used to. But that's it. I haven't noticed any details here. This is still plastic. I wish it was maybe um, perhaps rubberized. And that's it i don't see any other changes now you can see here the avatar now if i go here you can see on this is in french dual motor and the number additional information now we have the amd raisin processor and there should be a uh, 12 volt battery <clears throat> should be not anymore um, alcohol it should be the lithium ion battery so this should allow you like faster response you go here to controls and this is all the same i think you still get the same amount of 
uh, memory on the uh, USB stick. And over here, uh, this has, of course, the uh, sport option and the uh, track mode. There's a charge limit on this one, so I guess this is the this is the not the LFP battery, but uh, I think they're back on LG batteries. Again, this is all French autopilot. I think this has the full FSD. So but this is again in French. Um, and here you can see just a quick overview of the navigation, security, and entertainment. So you have your uh, pressure information there. Uh, I could change this to English, but in that case, uh, if you go to the display option, it requires to like reboot the infotainment, so I won't do that. And over here you can see the range, five, 450 kilometers on a 92% of charge. Of course, you can um, open or close, but I think someone's lean on. So I wouldn't want to do that. And the ACs, the V11, quite different. As you can see here now, you have the new icon there. That's the heated um, wipers. So they added heaters. And uh, you here have the steering wheel heater. Um, if you just have the steering, it's in the middle. And the rest is pretty much familiar. Um, So I think they've kind of locked this up. And over here you have the rear, but that's it. So those are the uh, changes for the 2022 model. Now, let me just open the frunk. I don't think there's any changes on the frunk. And just to check out here the glass. So you really can't see the heaters if they added them. Actually, you can see the line here, I think. Yeah, you can definitely see, actually, that might be, no, that was, yeah, there's a, a line here, but you can't see it uh, that good, so it helps up to defrost your uh, wiper blades. And inside, there's absolutely no change regarding, this is all the same. The only change, change is inside here, uh, but uh, I think uh, they didn't want me to remove this plastic, so I won't show you that. But uh, that's it. Uh, there's going to be a separate video of the Model Y from Giga Berlin. So make sure to subscribe if you want to check that out. I'll also cover all of the details and changes. Thank you for watching. If you want to see full end review of the Model 3, check out my channel. And there's also a playlist for the car brands.